Armenia Media University for the start of proceedings of the convocation. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I request you to declare the ninth convocation of Shifat Amir Millat University open. May I request Ms. Zoya Zahid for recitation from the Holy Quran? <laughs> beneficent the most merciful he is Allah besides whom there is no God the knower of the unseen and the seen he is all merciful very merciful he is Allah besides whom there is no God the sovereign the supreme in holiness the safe from all defects the giver of peace the guardian the almighty the all repairer the sublime pure is Allah from what they associate with him. He is Allah, the creator, the inventor, the shaper. His are the most beautiful names. His purity is proclaimed by all that is in the heavens and the earth. And he is almighty, the all wise. <laughs> Muhammad Iqbal Khan, Vice Chancellor, Shifa Kamil Millet University, to deliver the welcome address. I was very blessed to be the Dean of the Dean. Honorable Professor Dr. Mukhtar Ahmed Saab, Chairman Higher Education Commission, Dr. Manzoor Allah Kazi Saab, Chancellor Shifa Kamil Millet University, Member of the Senate, Academic Council. Syndicate, respected deans, faculty members, graduating students, parents, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, and very good morning. I am honored and privileged to stand before the smiling students of 
Shifat Amir Milut University, and blessed to say a few words in the presence of distinguished guests. I welcome you all in the ninth to the ninth convocation of Shifat Amir Milut University, which has been organized to confer the degrees upon graduating classes of 2022, which includes Shifa College of Medicine, Shifa College of Rehabilitation Sciences, Shifa College of Medical Technology, Shifa College of Pharmaceutical Sciences, Shifa College of Nursing and Midwifery, Shifa School of Health Professional Education, and Shifa School of Psychology. And finally, the Shifa School of Business and Management Sciences. I am exceptionally obliged and thankful to Honorable Chairman Higher Education Commission, Professor Dr. Mukhtar Ahmed, for accepting our invitation for being with us at this graduating ceremony. And I, I personally thank you, sir, for traveling all the way from Karachi. Shortening is a very tight schedule in Karachi. And and coming uh, particularly for this uh, occasion today. Ladies and gentlemen, we all are here today to acknowledge the great work of our students, our faculty, and those who have contributed in the academic achievements of our graduates. I believe the qualification or the certificate which you hold today certifies that you are the captain of your own unique ship. Where you decide to head is your own choice. We strongly wish that you have all the necessary skills and confidence to build your own ship of your own choice. We warmly congratulate you and confidently send you to your way to the next step in your life with blessing and prayers of, and good wishes of quality, parents, and everyone. STMU senses commencement of its journey is committed to the excellence in education, tangible research, and go to the solution training for our young generation, and deliver cutting edge services in technology, meeting the national and international standards. And in the successful pursuit of that, STMU has been able to attract faculty with the excellent academic background from within the country and abroad, and has developed substantial technological facilities ensuring quality education. I steal this opportunity to share with you some of the distinctive achievements which we have achieved over the last one year. Our research endeavor gained, alhamdulillah, noticeable momentum, meeting global standards. STMU faculty is publishing, pu publishing in a very high impact fact journal like Lancet, New England Journal of Medicine, and others. In 2022, the university faculty published 531 research publications compared to 446 in 2021. And out of those, 342 publications were in W category journals. Moreover, about 170 research projects are underway in the university and the university hospitals. Our research grant for the year 2022 is uh, 550 million compared to 410 million in the last year. Besides 2.5 million grants, uh, 2.5 million USD grant from the National Institute of Mental Health USA. Our research department has established international collaboration with academic and research organizations like Stanford University. MIT, Harvard, Imperial College London, and other European universities in the area of artificial intelligence, COVID research, familial hyperchloristemia, and have published research output in the esteemed journals. Ladies and gentlemen, we at Shafa hold the distinction of having top-notch national and as well as foreign qualified faculties. We all know that the highest quality of education requires best faculty. STMU faculty has been empowered with the substantial technical training running across the academic year, and this year only we have conducted 437 sessions 
uh, for the training of our faculty. The University Teaching Hospital, the Shwa International Hospital, provides world-class medical care in the vast number of specialties with the highest possible quality and safety standard and it is one of the three distinguished institutions in Pakistan accredited by the Joint Commission International. Shifa International Hospital is the only institution in Pakistan conducting multi-organ transplant including kidney, liver, cornea and bone marrow. And soon, inshallah, we are, we, we are uh, on, on the way to, uh, to start with the lung transplant as well. We can currently offer postgraduate training in, in the basic and clinical sciences in 33 specialties and over 400 fully paid postgraduate trainees from all over Pakistan, Azad, Jammu and Kashmir, Northern area and Afghanistan are getting this training. And this number is persistently increasing. Our home at service at Shifa has been accredited by JS, JCI and it is 24th world organization being accredited by JCI for provision of quality home and healthcare services to all over Pakistan and abroad. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the honor of Pakistan that in uh, Southeast Asia, this is the only organization which is accredited by JCID for quality. I am honored and yet humbled to inform you that Shifa College of Medicine has persistently remained outstanding by significant margins in all the sections of USA, USMLE examination during the last six years consecutively. Our medical graduates are surpassing all international medical graduates including Indians, Africans, Europeans and South American graduates. Shifa College of Medican, Me Medicine is included among the four best institutions in the region. Shifa College of Medicine is committed to provide quality health care uh, services to de deserving patients as well at a very subsidized and affordable cost through its system of fly clinic located within the Shifa International Hospital Complex and the Community Health Care Center at Nurpur Shah Islamabad. Over 1.8 million patients have been provided health care through this system. And some of the very important and very complex surgical procedures like organ transplantation, cardiac, neuro neurosurgical, plastic surgical, vascular surgical, and challenging cancer surgical procedures have been performed without any cost to the patients. School of Health Professional Education, apart from its provision of academic uh, program, started international certificate course for medical teachers and international certificate, certificate course for university teachers in collaboration with the Liverpool and New Zealand universities. So far, these courses were conducted in the universities in Bawalpur, Karachi, Rahim Yar Khan, Multan, Lahore, Islamabad, Muzaffarabad, and trained the hundreds of medical and other graduates to, uh, to provide the update skills. It is worth mentioning that we have started international certificates course for the university teachers as it for the first time in the university. Seven batches of ICMT have been passed out so far. The Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences started two new bachelor programs and master programs in bio biotechnology besides already running programs. Shifa College of Pharmaceutical Sciences was fully accredited for 100 students by the council. Shifa College of Pharmacy has indigen indigenously developed its and implemented contextual modular based integrated curriculum with the cutting edge learning and teaching strategy and it is one of its kind in the region. They have started postgraduate program, master program and PhD program in the molecular pharm pharmacy pharmaceutical chemistry and clinical practice. To cater the acute shortage of the technologists in the country, our College of Medical Technology added up specialized diploma program in different medical technology besides already existing 14, 13 disciplines uh, which are underway in the Shifa College of Medical Technology. Dear Ideas, all of us aware the, the grave status of nursing sector in Pakistan. We need nearly 1.2 million nurses. Uh, we have shortage of 1.2 million nurses in Pakistan. 
Yet we are trying our level best to improve the nursing care as well. At the same time, the nursing care cannot be improved without inculcating the the uh, without preparing the faculty of higher standard. And therefore, Shifa College of Nursing, in pursuit of that excellence, have started master's and PhD program. And Alhamdulillah, this year they are going to graduate graduate our first batch of batch of indigenous trained PhD. PhD graduates and inshallah the nursing our nursing graduates are shining all over the country and abroad we in this pursuit as you know all there are not more than 10 PhD prepared uh, uh, faculty member in Pakistan in the whole of Pakistan alhamdulillah we, we have four of them and we uh, got some, um, uh, some of the faculty members from abroad as well. Our university uh, uh, faculty has collaborated with the University of Venda, University of Leeds and University of Turku, Finland. Ladies and gentlemen, Shifa College of Dentistry is in the fourth year of its establishment. And inshallah, the, at the end of this year, we will graduate our first period batch. Shifa College of Dentistry also, this year started PhD program in uh, in dentistry, and Alhamdulillah, this college is the the uh, the uh, hospital affiliated with the college, Shifa College of Shifa uh, College of Dentistry, is providing the quality dental care and oral care to to all the peoples coming to that place. But at the same time, the quality has been enhanced, and this year. Alhamdulillah, we start uh, last year. Sorry, last year we started a microscopic surgery, and it is of only kind in the region. This year we have initiated number of other program like establishment of very prestigious chair, the Sira chair. And only yesterday we graduated, uh, we inaugurated this Sira chair at Shifa International, at Shifa um, Tamir Millet University um, Park Road campus. Faculty of Social Sciences, Humanity, and Faculty of Computing, and three doctoral programs have been started in the dentistry as well. A PhD in Computing Sciences, PhD in Clinical Sciences, besides two master programs have been started in the, uh, in the computer department. We also started with the Master of Family Medicine and MS in Islamic Studies, eight PG, PGD Diploma Certificate programs, Diploma and Certificate program like Postgraduate Magister Diploma in Clinical Psychology, Postgraduate Certificate in Diabetic Food, Postgraduate Certificate in Mental Health, Postgraduate Diploma in Bioinformatics, Postgraduate Diploma in Family Medicine, Postgraduate Diploma in Health Professional Education, Postgraduate Diploma in Arabic Language, Postgraduate Diploma in Nutrition Sciences, Postgraduate Diploma, International Diploma in Medical Health, Law, Human Rights and Universal Health Coverage. This year, we also started few bachelor programs, the BS in Computer Science, BS in Artificial Intelligence, with specific, uh, specifically in Medical Technology, BS in Software Engineering, BS in Cyber Security and Supply Chain Management, BS in Economics, BS in English, and BS in Early Child Education. BS in Education and Planning, and inshallah soon this year, we are going to start, start the better of law as well. Shifa School of Computing has established working collaboration with the leading academic and industry inter industry internationally and nationally. School of, the Shifa School of Computing, in collaboration with the business school, has initiated Shifa Executive Center as well, which is uh, which has already started training in the human factor engineering to the industry as well as academia. We are optimistic that the Shifa School of Computing will become the center of knowledge and innovation in the country very soon. This will provide an exciting opportunity for the young generation to build their skills of, of this century and remain distinctive. Our faculty is involved in outstanding research, skill-based teaching, training and executive, executive training from leading international companies, developing projects for the government and the corporates. Our students have won first and second prize 
in national com competition and indig of indigenously developed a medical receptionist and auto autonomous line follow robots. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel proud that the STMU become a significant member of the terror uh, uh, network of England universities and it is declared on civic roles and social resp responsibility of higher education. Apart from uh, STMU becomes an associate member of the International Network of Quality Assurance Agencies in Higher Education. My dear graduates, I, I would like to appreciate and acknowledge the assistance of and guidance of our regulatory authorities, particularly Higher Education Commission, for, for developing of, development of various quality education and training program at STMU. My dear graduate, year ago, STMU took you under your wings and opened its hallway, its friendship and its assignment to all of you who qualified on merits only. We did not know where you would go and what you would discover and what you would accomplish. We just knew that you had a talent, ability, energy, and had an unshaken belief in you. STMU strive to inculcate empathy, hard work, capacity to think independently and listen politely, and when necessary, disagree with, without being disagreeable. This was possible due to the support of your parents, your brother and sisters, your grandparents, your family members, your neighbors, and dedicated your dedicated faculty and teachers and many more. Today, we celebrate your dis discoveries through the tears of joys hidden in the corners of your uh, eyes of your parents and your guardians. Graduate, may I request you to rise and in the, uh, for the honor of your teachers, your parents and loved ones who made it possible for you to get it here. Thank you very much, sir. Now, my dear graduate, we have endeavored to bring you on the journey of experience, which help you to grow and transform. The whole university celebrate with you. We are proud of your achievement, but there is much more to do, and today marks a new beginning. I call each and one of you for action, to go out from here with confidence, with the blessing and the best wishes and work actively towards the living a good and generous life. Remain always attached to your alma mater and you do realize today that you are the member of alumni now. But if you can separate yourself and your spirit from Shifa, think again. This institution goes with you and it is your now forever. I offer my sincere gratitude and thanks to the board of sponsors, the Shifa family, for their wholehearted support in the university endeavors. Everyone in Shifa remains deeply involved, concerned, and has been taking deep interest in the university affairs. Sincere appreciation and thanks to everyone in Shifa family as well. I would once again thank to all of you and honorable chancellor and everyone who is present today here, and the parents, faculty, and the distinguished guests as well. Once again, I'm extremely grateful to Professor, Professor Mukhtar Ahmed Saab for, for his uh, ever uh, willing support for the STMU and Shifa family as a whole. I thank everyone you, uh, one of you. I extend my sincere thanks and gratitude to all faculty members, all the deans, principals, director, registrar, control examination, and staff for their wholehearted and contribution and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the best rewards here and hereafter. I thank to the parents for interesting STMU for education, education of your children and extend my sincere thanks to every one of you for being with us today. Pakistan Zindabad. And I, at the end, I just want to share you with you one hadith. Adrat Abu Darda Razila Talan Sir Vayatek Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Nair Shad Farmaya 
جو شخص حصول علم کے لیے راستہ طے کرتا ہے اللہ تعالیٰ کے فرشتے اس کے لیے اپنے پر بچھاتے ہیں اور اللہ تعالیٰ کے فرشتے اس کی راہ میں پر بچھاتے ہیں اور زمین پر ہر چیز اور پانی کی مچھلیاں بھی اس کے لیے دعا کرتی ہیں عالم کی فضیلت آبد پر ایسے ہی ہے جیسے چودھویں کے چاند کی تمام ستاروں پر علماء انبیاء کے وارث ہیں اور انبیاء نے درم اور دینار ورثے میں نہیں چھوڑے بلکہ علم کو اپنا ورثہ بنایا جس نے علم حاصل کیا اس نے ایک وافر ایسا اس میں سے حاصل کیا شکریہ بہت Now, I request the Registrar to request the Chancellor for the conferment of the degrees. Mr. Chancellor, sir, may the candidates be presented for the conferment of the degrees of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, Master of Health Professions Education, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Bachelor of Science in Nursing Post RM, Master of Science in Nursing, Doctor of Pharmacy, Master of Philosophy and Pharmacology, Master of Philosophy and Medical Pharmacy Centres, Doctor of Physical Therapy, Master of Science and Physical Therapy, Bachelor of Science and Medical Technology, Associate of Science and Medical Technology, Diploma in Medical Technology, Bachelor of Business Administration, Master of Business Administration, Master of Science and Management Sciences, Bachelor of Science and Clinical Psychology, and Master of Science in Clinical Psychology. Let the candidates be presented. The candidates for the award of the said degrees are requested to please rise. Now, I request the controller of examinations, Shifa Tamir Millat University, to present the candidates to the Chancellor for the conferment of their degrees. to request the Chancellor for conferment of the degrees in absentia. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I present you the candidate who has been certified after examination to be one who you qualified to receive the degree. But are not graduated and their names are on the graduate roll. I request that they may be admitted in absentia to their respective degree. Professor Dr. Fahad Azam to administer the 
CEO of the Graduate. The graduate of all the degree programs, please rise. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. At the time of being admitted to this profession, I, the graduate of Shafat Amir Millet University, do solemnly pledge to dedicate my life to the service of humanity with sympathy and loving care, but without consideration of religion, caste, color, creed, race, gender, political affiliation, social standing, or ethnicity. To use my knowledge for the benefit of mankind and show utmost respect to the health, welfare and safety of human life. To practice my profession with conscience, honor and dignity and keep it my first consideration to protect human life in all stages and under all circumstances to respect the confidentiality of any information concerning my profession to give due respect to my teachers, colleagues, and fellow workers, and to maintain the honor and noble traditions of this profession, to strive in the pursuit of knowledge and remain cognizant of new developments in my chosen field. I take this oath solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. O Allah, grant me the strength to adhere to this oath at all the times and under all the circumstances. Amin. May I now request the Honorable Vice Chancellor to request the Chief Guest for distribution of medals and distinction certificates to the distinguished students. Graduates of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, Class of 2022, for the award of gold and silver medals. I invite Dr. Mehreen Arshad, Graduate of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, Class of 2022, for the award of Dr. Zaheer Ahmed Gold Medal, first position in the third professional MBBS examination. Dr. Eamon Ayub. Graduate of Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, Class of 2022, for the award of Dr. Nazir Ahmed Gold Medal, first position in the fourth professional MBBS examination. I will now invite the graduates of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Class of 2022, for the award of gold medals. Mr. Saad Ahmed Khan, graduate of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, class of 2022, for the award of gold medal for securing highest CGPA in the program. Ms. Mahnoor Yunus, graduate of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, class of 2022, for the award of silver medal for securing second highest CGPA in the program. 
I will now invite the graduates of post RN three years extended program class of 2022 for the award of gold and silver medals. Ms. Sumera Shaheen Abbasi, graduate of Bachelor of Science in Nursing class of 2022 for the award of gold medal for securing highest CGPA in the program. Ms. Selena, graduate of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, class of 2022, for the award of silver medal for securing second highest CGPA in the program. I will now invite the graduates of Master of Science in Nursing, class of 2022, for the award of gold and silver medals. Mr. Azim Kaleem, graduate of Master of Science in Nursing, class of 2022, for the award of gold medal for securing highest CGPA in the program. Ms. Bibi Amira, graduate of Master of Science in Nursing, class of 2022, for the award of silver medal for securing second highest CGPA in the program. I will now invite the graduates of Doctor of Pharmacy, class of 2022, for the awards of gold and silver medals. Dr. Sana Ahmed, graduate of Doctor of Pharmacy, class of 2022, for the award of gold medal. She secured the overall first position. Dr. Sadia Javed, graduate of Doctor of Pharmacy, class of 2022, for the award of silver medal. She secured the overall second position. I will now invite the graduates of MPhil Molecular Pharmacology, class of 2022, for the award of gold and silver medals. Dr. Javeria Saber, graduate of MPhil Molecular Pharmacology, class of 2022, for the award of gold medal. She secured the overall first position. I will now invite the graduates of MPhil Clinical Pharmacy Practice Class of 2022 for the award of gold and silver medals. Dr. Nukhba Sana, graduate of MPhil Clinical Pharmacy Practice Class of 2022 for the award of gold medal. She secured the overall first position. Dr. Samia Afaq, graduate of MPhil Clinical Pharmacy Practice Class of 2022 for the award of silver medal. She secured the overall second position. I will now invite the graduates of Doctor of Physical Therapy, Batch Spring 2017 and Fall 2017 for the awards of silver and gold medals. Dr. Zunera Irshad, graduate of Doctor of Physical Therapy, Batch Spring 2017 for the award of gold medal. She secured the overall first position. Dr. Nimra Yunus, graduate of Doctor of Physical Therapy, Batch Spring 2017 for the award of silver medal. She secured the overall second position. Dr. Sabiha Fayyaz, graduate of Doctor of Physical Therapy, Batch Fall 2017, for the award of gold medal. She secured the overall first position. Dr. Mukhbita Liaqat, graduate of Doctor of Physical Therapy, Batch Fall 2017, for the award of silver medal. She secured the overall second position. I will now invite the graduates of Master of Science in Physical Therapy, Batch Fall 2019 and Fall 2020 for the award of silver and gold medals. Dr. Anam Riaz, graduate of Master of Physical Therapy, Batch Fall 2019 for the award of gold medal. She secured the overall first position. Dr. Selma Abbas, graduate of Master of Physical Therapy, Batch Fall 2020 for the award of gold medal. She secured the overall first position. Dr. Saleha Kamar, graduate of Master of Physical Therapy, Batch Fall 2020 for the award of silver medal. She secured the overall second position.
I will now invite the graduates of Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology, Bass Spring 2018 and Spring 2019 for the award of silver and gold medals. Ms. Anoush Zafar, graduate of Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology, Bath Spring 2018 for the award of silver medal. She secured the overall second position. Ms. Ikra Ali, graduate of Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology, Bath Spring 2019 for the award of gold medal. She secured the overall first position. Ms. Sayyida Lare Bukhari, graduate of Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology, Bath Spring 2019 for the award of silver medal. She secured the overall second position. I will now invite the graduates of Associate of Science in Medical Technology, Bath Spring 2020 and Spring 2022 for the award of silver and gold medals. Ms. Tehreem Zafar, graduate of Associate of Science in Medical Technology, Bath Spring 2020 for the award of gold medal. She secured the overall first position. Ms. Faiza Elias, graduate of Associate of Science in Medical Technology, Bath Spring 2020 for the award of silver medal. She secured the overall second position. I will now invite the graduates of Master of Business Administration, Batch Fall 2020 for the award of gold medals. Dr. Aisha Tarek, graduate of Batch Master of Business Administration, Fall 2020 for the award of gold medal. She secured the overall first position. Dr. Sayyid Fahadullah Shah, graduate of Batch Master of Business Administration, Fall 2020 for the award of silver medal. He secured the overall second position. I will now invite the graduates of Bachelor of Science in Clinical Psychology, Bass Spring 2018 and Fall 2018 for the award of silver and gold medals. Ms. Nimra Irfan, graduate of Bachelor of Science in Clinical Psychology, Bass Spring 2018 for the award of gold medal. She secured the overall first position. Ms. Hafsa Shabir, graduate of Bachelor of Science in Clinical Psychology, Bass Spring 2018 for the award of silver medal. She secured the overall second position. Ms. Izza Hurram, graduate of Bachelor of Science in Clinical Psychology, Batch Fall 2018 for the award of gold medal. She secured the overall first position. Ms. Zakia Hanam, graduate of Bachelor of Science in Clinical Psychology, Batch Fall 2018 for the award of silver medal. She secured the overall second position. I will now invite the graduates of Master of Science in Clinical Psychology, Batch Fall 2019 and Fall 2020 for the award of silver and gold medals. Ms. Varda Arshad, graduate of Master of Science in Clinical Psychology, Batch Fall 2019 for the award of silver medal. She secured the overall second position. Ms. Musira Eman, graduate of Master of Science in Clinical Psychology, Batch Fall 2020 for the award of gold medal. She secured the overall first position. Ms. Sayyida Maryam Raza Gilani, graduate of Master of Science in Clinical Psychology, Batch Fall 2020 for the award of silver medal. She secured the overall second position. I will now invite the graduates of post R and Three's Extended Program, Class of 2022, for the award of gold and silver medals. Ms. Sumera Shaheen Abbasi, graduate of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Class of 2022, for the award of gold medal for securing highest CGPA in the program. Ms. Salira, graduate of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Class of 2022, for the award of silver medal for securing second highest CGPA in the program.
Dr. Numan Ahmed Distinctions, 5th Professional, MBBS Examination Distinction in Medicine. Dr. Osama Ahmed Distinctions, 5th Professional, MBBS Examination Distinction in Medicine, 4th Professional, MBBS Examination Distinction in E and T, 3rd Professional, MBBS Examination in Block 8, Block 9. Dr. Safura Aves Samra, Distinctions, third professional, MBBS examination, distinction in block eight. Dr. Salman Ehsan, distinctions, fifth professional, fifth professional, MBBS examination, distinction in medicine, third professional, MBBS examination, distinction in block eight. First professional, MBBS examination, distinction in block two. Dr. Sara Suhail, Distinctions, 5th Professional, MBBS Examination, Distinction in Medicine, 3rd Professional, MBBS Examination, Distinction in Block 6, Block 8, Block 9, 2nd Professional, MBBS Examination, Distinction in Block 6, 1st Professional, MBBS Examination, Distinction in Block 2, Dr. Shaista Ali, Distinctions, Third professional, MBBS examination, distinction in block 8, block 9. Dr. Sifwa Mahmood, distinctions. Third professional, MBBS examination, distinction in block 8, block 9. Dr. Saeed Muhammad Qasim, distinctions. Third professional, MBBS examination, distinction in block 8. Dr. Talha Mohyuddin, Distinctions, third professional, MBBS examination, distinction in block eight. Dr. Aliza Ijaz Raja. Distinctions, third professional, MBBS examination, distinction in block nine. Dr. Hira Khalek, distinctions, 
fifth professional MBBS examination distinction in medicine, fourth professional MBBS examination distinction in ENT, third professional examination distinction in block eight, first professional MBBS examination distinction in block two. The university on the basis of parameters provided by the Higher Education Commission of Pakistan evaluates the performance of its teachers. These parameters include the command of the subject, teaching philosophy, course syllabus, assessment methodology and tools, lesson plans, classroom teaching, use of technology, student interaction and mentoring, and the student feedback. For the year 2022, upon nominations of the respective departments, Dr. Madiha Ahmed, Associate Professor, Shifa College of Pharmaceutical Sciences, stood winner for the Best University Teacher Award by securing 98.23 scores on a scale of 100. And Dr. Afroz Liaqat, Associate Professor, Shifa College of Dentistry and Shifa College of Medicine, stood runner-up by scoring 96.77%. The university appreciates such achievements with recognition certificates and cash awards. Now, therefore, I would like to invite Dr. Madiha Ahmed to receive recognition certificate and the cash award. I would like to invite Dr. Afroz Liaka to receive recognition certificate and the cash award. We now have the opportunity to have a lightning glimpse of a graduate on behalf of all these graduates who spent vigorous yet formative and productive years in their respective departments at the Shifa Tamir Millet University. It is my pleasure to invite Dr. Johanna Mubarak, graduate of Doctor of Pharmacy, to do the honors of delivering the valedictory speech on behalf of all these graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Johanna Mubarak. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Esteemed chief guests, honorable deans, respected teachers, families, and graduates of Shifa Tamir Millet University. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. Amoxicillin and ciprofloxacin, you must think they are twins. How I see them is kind of different, and this is how my journey begins. A pill to create, a drug to formulate, masking its bitter taste so it's not a waste. Anxiety disease syndromes, what not does it cure? Maybe one dose tablet and your pain is gone for sure. Injections and medicines behind each door. It's hard work, but I love it. So I'm always back for more. Ladies and gentlemen, I, Johanna Mubarak, feel deeply honored and ecstatic to be standing here in front of you all as the valedictorian and share a piece of my writing with all my heart. Today is a special day for us as we are finally graduating from this college after five most incredible years of our lives. Today, we celebrate our shared achievements, leaving behind a rigorous academic life and entering into a new era. They say happiness is not something you remember, but something you experience and something you hope for. With just some hope, we walked in through the doors of Shifa with dreams, goals, and desires, with the fear of achieving. But today, we walk out of those same doors with higher hopes, bigger dreams, and goals achieved. Our aspirations have been shaped into passion and glory in this very institution. As I look out into the crowd before me, I sense a wave of emotions from everyone present. 
The sense of pride you all have in your graduates' accomplishment is unmeasurable. But let me tell you, nothing can top the feelings that we graduates have right now. Graduates, we have come a long way. From wearing our white lab coats for the first time on orientation day to wearing these beautiful black robes on our graduation ceremony. From entering into our campus that was new and aloof to us, leaving it as our second home. From being strangers to, hey, wake me up when teacher looks at me, we became best friends. From many sessions of crying and ranting to endless hours of joy and laughter. Sleeping through countless inspiring lectures to having bouts of panic attacks before our exams. From getting attacked by the drone bombs of our result cards to getting the news of thankfully passing in all the subjects. From feeling the agony of defeat to the thrill of victory, we have come a long way. It takes an amazing mentor to bring out the best in you. But we not only had one, but many incredible mentors at Shifa Tamiri Millat University. Respected guests, this address would not be complete without me extending my deepest gratitude to all the faculty and the teachers. I have had the honor to be taught by the most brilliant educators in our field, to whom I'll be indebted to for the rest of my life. May I request all of you to please give a huge round of applause to our phenomenal teachers for being an influence that can never be erased. Here at Shifa Tamir Millat University, we sought opportunities to move beyond and excel to, to become more equipped as a leader. This prestigious institution has been a stepping stone towards a successful career by helping us build a set of skills to create a vibrant future. I am overwhelmed with gratitude today to all those who played an instrumental role in helping us get so far in our journey. A journey which was imbued with great memories. Memories that were shaped by my friends who ultimately became my family. With them, I painted a colorful picture of five years of togetherness. More like Sherlock Holmes' memory palace, we stored the most exciting and precious events of our lives. And a huge part of our memories are our dear parents. We may have written exams, but you were standing out in the hall giving an examination of your own. We may have pulled all nighters, but you were standing, but you kept that hot glass of milk on our study tables each night. We may have had a terrible grade in our exam, but that scolding you did, did a pretty good job. We are graduating today, but I want to congratulate you for graduating as proud parents. I want to thank you for all your efforts. In the end, for my dear graduates, I'd like to share this quote with you. Always remember, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. It is with great passion and strong sense of self that we take our next step into the world. Armed with skills and knowledge, I can tell we are eager to tackle this next phase. As someone who believes in lifelong learning, I hope this is just a beginning for all of us. Graduates, congratulations, we did it. Thank you very much. May I now request the Honorable Vice Chancellor to request the Chief Guest to kindly deliver the Convocation address.
Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Honorable Chancellor, Vice Chancellor Sahib, Registrar, Control of Examination, Senate members, Syndicate members, Academic Council, Faculty, Graduating Student, we have the Chairman of Science Foundation here, Pair, Proud Parents, Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum and Good Morning. I am honored and humbled to be here in this event of ninth convocation of Tamiri Millet University. I am lucky that I live in IA2 and I have seen Shifa family establishment here. And I have seen establishment of this Shifa Tamiri Millet University also. And mashallah in a very short time. And of course, it was the dream of those pioneers who dreamed it. And people who are now leading this thing, they are trying to fulfill it, inshallah. And they will do it and they have done it. Congratulations to all you, to Shifa family, to graduating students, to faculty, to everybody, this wonderful achievement, ladies and gentlemen. This field of medicine and medicine-related subjects, they are very important very essential and at the same time very demanding. We used to know that it take 100 years when something new emerged in the field of health, like it was malaria first, then maybe influenza. After 100 years, we used to, in history, we are not so old basically, that the new disease emerged and then people were getting worried that what to do. But this COVID-19 has shaken our system. Now it is a matter of not centuries, not decades, not even years. And every next day you can see something new emerging. That is putting an extra challenge and kind of responsibility on the people who are in this field of health sector. We can see in Pakistan, ladies and gentlemen, that in every second home, you can find girls, women in breast cancer, in cyst problem, and so many other problems. We are proud that in Pakistan, we started with 50 universities in 2002, and now we have 249 universities. We are proud that we started with 2.1% tertiary education access rate, and now we have 12% tertiary education access rate. We are proud that we started with 900 publications coming from whole Pakistan every year. Now we have crossed 30,000 publications coming from Pakistan every year. But still, a big question mark from the society is, who is going to provide answer to these questions? Who is going to provide solution to these problems? Who is going to solve our problems? So they are basically, I am responsible, Chairman Science Foundation Sahib is sitting here. We are responsible. Your faculty is responsible. You people have the challenge. You will be also responsible. The point I'm trying to make it that we have to buckle up because it is not business as usual. At my age, when somebody was graduating, I think they, they think that they have done it. And now they will do practice. They will earn money. They will make their life. Now, every next day, to be good doctor tomorrow, to be good scientist for tomorrow, to be good researcher for tomorrow, you have to do extra work today. Then you will be, see, you will be known, or you will be seen as the good. And for day after tomorrow, you have to do again, double it up next day, so that you should be best in the day after tomorrow. So it is a continued learning process, ladies and gentlemen. We have to understand, our education institution need to understand. Our graduating students need to understand that this is not end. This is the starting of next phase. So ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to graduating students. As uh, your colleague was saying, you have done it. And you should be proud of yourself first. 
Why? Because you know how many people in Pakistan, 225 million people or 222 million people, whatever, we will figure out after this census. That how many have the opportunity that they are graduate and how many have the opportunity they have the master degrees and how many of them are in PhDs. So you are the selected one. You are the picked one. So you need to thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jaysay, Aapke bhai Sansa sahab ne bhi shuru mein kaha ki aap falaan ka shukriya da kare, parents ka kare, to mein bhi har speech mein, har connotation mein ye chand baatein zaroor kehta hoon. Ki aaj ka din is not only celebration. It is also to realize and thanks to certain people. سب سے پہلے اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی کا شکر ادا کرنا چاہیے کہ اللہ نے آپ کو اس مقام کے لیے پک کیا دن آف کورس اس کے بعد آپ کے یہ پیرنٹس ہیں بلی آپ نے ان کے لیے تعلیہ بجائیں تعلیہوں سے آگے کی بھی ضرورت ہے انہوں نے اپنی زندگی کی بہت سی خواہشات کامپرومائز کیا بچھوڑ دیا سیکریفائی کیا اس لیے کہ آج آپ ادھر بیٹھ کے بگری نسی بدقسمتی یہ ہے کہ ہم پاکستان میں بھی یہ دیکھ رہے ہیں تو آپ سے گزارش ہی ہوگی کہ غلطی آپ سے نہ ہو جائے جو ماں باپ نے آپ کے لئے کیا آپ اس کا ریٹرن بالکل نہیں کر سکتے لیکن آپ ضرور یہ لائز کریں کہ آپ ان کو آپ کی ضرورت ہے ان کی خوشیاں آپ لائیں گے ان کا خیال آپ کریں گے اور یہ صرف اس چکر میں نہ رہی ہے کہ میں نے اپنی زندگی بنانی ہے they are very essential part تو آج جا کے سب سے پہلے ان کے پاؤں چھوئیے ان کے بوسا بوسا دیجئے اللہ بھی راضی ہو جائے گا وہ بھی راضی ہو جائے گا And third important personalities are your teacher, the faculty, mashallah. They have done wonderful job. That is why you are here today. Unke liye aapne bhi bohut taliyah maani, lekin dil se inki izzat karna, inko. Yeh bhi aapke hamaay islam mein bataya gaya, ke yeh bhi aapke parents mein shamal ho gaya. Unko bhi shukriya da ki ji, unko yaad rakhiye, wohi aapke mehmar hai. Or phir, shifa ta meri millat university ko bina bholi hai. جہاں بھی جائیں گے آپ اس کی پیچھان بن کے جائیں گے and do present your self of that level that people should see that they are the graduate of Shifat Amiri Millet University اور پھر پیچھے آنے والوں کے لیے آپ راستے بھی بنا جائیں گے یا راستے بند بھی کر دیں گے last but not the least جو عموماً ہم اگنور کر دیتے ہیں don't forget Pakistan you should be proud Pakistani ہمیں بدقسمتی سے بہت سے تفرقوں میں بٹا دیا گیا بٹ گئے ہم آج کسی سے پوچھے تو وہ اپنی پہچان پاکستان نہیں بتاتا میرے سن وہ کبھی بیعت کہتا ہے میں فلاں قبیلے سے ہوں میں فلاں علاقے سے ہوں میں فلاں صوبے سے ہوں میں فلاں پارٹی سے ہوں میں فلاں چیز سے ہوں پلیز they are not important important thing is پاکستان and we should be proud of being پاکستان thank you آج مجھے بڑا دکھ ہوتا ہے کہ پاکستان ہمیں کتابوں میں ملتا ہے میں بڑی جگہ یہ کہتا ہوں کہ انیس سو سنتالیس میں اللہ تعالیٰ نے ایک قوم کو ایک لیڈر دیا اور جو خواب ہمارے بزرگوں نے دیکھے دے اور ستائیسویں کی رات کو اللہ تعالیٰ نے ہمیں پاکستان دیا ایک ملک ہمیں اللہ نے دے دیا آج پچھتر سال کے بعد ایک ملک ایک قوم کی تلاش میں ہے یہ بہت بڑی چیلنج ہے ہمارے لیے معاشرے میں ایز انڈویجول ایسے سیٹیزن یہ کیا کیا ہم نے اپنے ملک کے ساتھ کہ آج ملک ہمارے میں قوم بنانے کے چکر میں جو ہم نہیں بن رہے ہیں میری گزارش یہ ہوگی کہ میں ایسیپ کرتا ہوں ہر جگہ جا کے کہ میں ایسے ٹیچر شاید اچھا ٹیچر نہیں تھا میں ایسے فادر شاید اچھا فادر نہیں تھا میں شاید ایسے سیٹیزن اپنے پاکستان ایک اچھا سیٹیزن نہیں تھا اسی لیے جو آج ہماری سفرنگ ہے ہمارے پاکستان کے جو حالات ہیں ورنہ کوئی وجہ نہیں تھی کہ ہم بھی پراسپرس کنٹری ہو دے کوئی وجہ نہیں تھی کہ اللہ تعالیٰ تعالیٰ نے ہمیں سب کچھ دیا لیکن ہم ایک قوم نہیں بن سکے پلیز آج اس خوشی کے موقع پہ 
सेलिब्रेशन के मौके पे कम से कम ये अमली नेक्स्ट जनरेशन जो है ये आज कमिट कर ले कि हम मिल के कौम बन के इस मुल्क को संवारेंगे आई कैन बेट यू नो बाडी कैन बीट पाकिस्तान नो बाडी कैन स्टॉप पाकिस्तान टू बिकम द प्रॉस्परस कंट्री ऑफ द वर्ल्ड तो आई होप कि ये आप कमिटमेंट ले के जाएंगे आगे और मेरे आपके टीचरों से भी रिक्वेस्ट ये होगी कि हमने पाकिस्तान में बहुत अच्छे और माशाल्लाह हमारे डॉक्टर दुनिया में माना जाता है कि पाकिस्तान के डॉक्टर बहुत अच्छे हैं बहुत अच्छे डॉक्टर बना लिए बहुत अच्छे इंजीनियर पैदा कर लिए बहुत अच्छे ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट जो बिजनेस स्टूडेंट है पैदा कर लिए किसी भी सब्जेक्ट में देख लें लेकिन बड़ी बदकस्मती से कहना पड़ता है कि अच्छे इंसान ना पैद होंगे तो मेरी फैकल्टी से रिक्वेस्ट ये होगी कि आप प्रोफेशनलिज्म में जितना आगे जाना चाहें नो बडी विल स्टॉप यू मस्ट डू इट बट एट लीस्ट स्पेंड फाइव टू टेन मिनट इन एवरी क्लास टू लेट दम लर्न नॉट ओनली टीच लेट दैम आवर ग्रेजुएटिंग स्टूडेंट लर्न कि वट इज़ द एथिक्स वट आर द वैल्यू सिस्टम वट इज़ दैशनैलिट नेशनलिज्म एंड वट इज़ द सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी बहुत अच्छा कुछ हम टेक्निकली बन गए एडवांस हो गए लेकिन अच्छे इंसान ना पैदा हो गए पाकिस्तान में तो मेरी गुजारिश ये होगी कि इस पे भी थोड़ा सा कोशिश कीजिए नो बडी एल्स बट यू आर दी पीपल हु कैन मेक दिस सोसाइटी किसी भी माशरे में दो नासर बड़े इम्पॉर्टेंट होते हैं एक इमाम और एक उस्ताद हम दोनों ने अपना काम छोड़ दिया हुआ है जिस दिन हम अपने अपना काम सही करना शुरू कर दिया अलहमदिल्ला हमारी कौम में बड़ी पोटेंशल है और एक बेहतरीन कौम बन के उठेगी और बेहतरीन पाकिस्तान बनाएगी With these sad and young gentlemen, I must congratulate your parents, to you, to your faculty. But on a lighter note, because this is a little bit of my story, my today's is like this. The address is very boring. So I was telling you that today's is like this. So I was telling you that today's is like this. So I was telling you that today's is like this. So I was telling you that today's is like this. So I was telling you that today's is like this. So I was telling you that today's is like this. So I was telling you that today's is like this. So I was telling you that today's is like this. So I was telling you that today's is like this. So I was telling you that today's is like this. So I was telling you that today's is like this. जो अच्छी चीज़ें पिछली थी उनको भी याद रखना चाहिए थैंक यू वेरी मच लेडी जेंटलमैन एंड थैंक यू आनर चांसलर एंड वाइस चांसलर जो भी आनर पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद नाउ आई विल रिक्वेस्ट द चांसलर टू काइंडली प्रेजेंट द यूनिवर्सिटी सुवेनियर टू द ऑनरेबल चीफ गेस्ट